Elephants, rhinoceroses, tigers, and many other species are being killed for the illegal wildlife trade, which the United Nations and others estimate is worth seven to $23 billion annually. Wildlife trafficking, the illegal trade in animals and animal products, feeds the lucrative market for exotic pets, rare foods, trophies, and traditional medicines. GAO was asked to review the U.S. government's efforts to combat wildlife trafficking. This video focuses on activities related to large animals in Africa. Trafficking is pushing some protected and endangered animals to the brink of extinction. The International Wildlife Treaty Organization reports that elephants are being poached at an unsustainable rate. The following image may be disturbing to some viewers. This elephant in a protected range area in Africa died from bullet wounds. Wildlife trafficking has serious effects on people as well as animals. One ranger dies approximately every four days in the ongoing battle to protect wildlife. This northern Kenyan patrol unit recently lost one of its members in the line of duty, illustrating the real danger that local people face. Wildlife trafficking has security implications as well. Transnational criminal organizations drive trafficking, contributing to violence and instability. They trade rhino horn and elephant ivory by shipping it from Africa to East Asia, often using the same routes and shipping methods that weapon and drug smugglers use. U.S. officials have expressed concern that terrorist and militant groups are engaging in wildlife trafficking because of its potential as a source of funding, along with the weak enforcement of trafficking penalties. In 2014, the U.S. government formed an interagency task force to implement a national strategy to combat wildlife trafficking. From 2014 to 2016, Congress directed a total of $180 million in spending to support a wide range of anti-trafficking activities carried out by at least a dozen U.S. agencies and offices. There are a variety of U.S. programs that combat wildlife trafficking all over Africa, including those in South Africa, Tanzania, and Kenya, which are featured in this video. For example, some U.S. government-funded anti-poaching initiatives train and deploy dogs and their handlers throughout Africa to help law enforcement find traffickers. Trained dogs can detect ivory that is hidden in vehicles or can track the scents of poachers, as seen here in Tanzania. The U.S. government also funds law enforcement units that support local efforts to combat wildlife trafficking. This primarily female anti-poaching unit from South Africa, called the Black Mambas, has earned international acclaim for their work. While agencies describe accomplishments related to combating wildlife trafficking efforts, they don't have specific performance targets that would better enable them to compare planned with actual results. I'm Kim Giannopoulos, a director in GAO's International Affairs and Trade team who led this work. For more information, including recommendations to ensure the best use of limited resources to combat wildlife trafficking, check out GAO-16-717 on our website, gao.gov.